G. Garvin is setting the culinary world on fire. G. Garvin is turning the live culinary show upside down with this unique approach that includes comedy. You know, I went by Sister Mary's house yesterday. She had some macaroni and cheese. And then we called the macaroni and heat. It wasn't good. Man, Sister Mary walked by house, Sister Mary. How you doing? I saw they do I'm going to take you to church. Not church, baby. Church. He's talented, funny, sexy, and man, can he cook. He's G. Garvin, the host of the hey, Cooking Garvin, Channels you know, on the road with G. Garvin. Chicago, Illinois. I'm headed over to a place called the Purple Pig, which is located in the heart of downtown Chicago. He's also the owner of Low Country Restaurant, one of the most popular restaurants in the Atlanta airport. Acclaimed chef, cookbook author, television host, James Beard nominee, and philanthropist. All words that describe Chef Jerry Garvin, simply known as G. Garvin. And then you gotta get your, your thing right in. Go, go. And then you do it on the top. Kick back and relax and get ready to have some fun. Do a little something. By the boys DVD when I put it on the table because it's such a it's such a hot joint. Experience the G live on stage as he takes the cooking show to a whole new level. Here's the thing about lobster. Most people overcook it. They just leave it in too long, huh? Okay, they leave it in too long. So what the best thing to do is get the lobster, take it out of the, out of the shell. You can pump oil, that means partially cook it, and then finish it in your dish. So we're gonna go from scratch. Hot pan. Make sure your pan is hot. Cheese sauce. Half milk, half cream. Bring it to a boil, right? On a slow, low burner. And then what you do is, you fold in the various cheeses. People think mac and cheese is about the cheese and the pasta. It's not. It's about the cheese and the sauce. Cream, milk, Velveeta if that's what you like. Sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, brie, parmesan, go, better. Whatever your budget allows, go to work. <laughs> Everybody gave me the brie. I ain't gonna, you know what I mean? Get it in there, but here's what's important. You gotta mix it in slowly, and you gotta make sure the cream sauce is nice and low. Alright? So, that's what we got here. So now what we're gonna do is, once this lobster is, we want it almost done, okay? So, here's the thing. How many of y'all have ever seen Turn Up The Heat when I was on TV One? So typically what would happen is, I'll go to commercial break, and when y'all come back, I'll be ready. This right here is called improvisation. And for those of you who know nothing about television, that means just watch it for a second and be quiet. <laughs> Alright, so, here's the support. So my lobster is almost done. I'm going to turn it down. Well, I'm not going to turn it down because I can't find the handle. So. <laughs> is this one right? I'm going to put a little white wine to deglaze. Alright? And what that also does is, it gives it a simmer. Because what I don't want to do is have that cream sauce too early while it's too hot. So now I got that in there. Yeah, talk to me. Y'all can talk to me. Get that, green, that, that, that cheese sauce in there, right? 
all right? So, oh, somebody's gonna be real happy when they can see this. So, what I want you to do is always, always check your seats. All right. Ain't nothing worse than having people come up to your house and don't pay for it. And then they don't know what to tell you. How is it? To the cheese sauce. Uh, so, once you get that going, all right? So, so it's just a fancy, what they call it back in the day. Cream sauce with a little lobster. I put a little parsley in there so I can get a dollar fifty from you. Put a little bit of that chatter in there. Because you want it. You got to have it nice and creamy. Alright. Alright? And then you get your food network on and just go like that. You gotta make a hope. I'm sorry. Hold on, though. If you want the house, you gotta make sure your friends is watching. So go like this. Four of them, so I'm gonna cross this thing right here. So they see you, but you act like you don't see them see. I got a few scallions cut on a perfect bite. Yeah. That's how I ate it. I am for you all Alright, so, who wants to be happy right now? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, while you enjoy your lobster mac and cheese, say hello to my man, Josh Vietti. Yeah. Come on, Josh. Before the show is over, you're going to experience the g talents of G-Garvin. Nothing but a G-Thang, baby.